Well, in other news, after every school shooting, threat, or lockdown, there comes the question, how do we protect our kids? So, of course, there's a nationwide effort to find solutions. Krem 2's Taylor Vito found a school district in Idaho hoping armed guards can help keep kids safe. Well, I'm at Athol Elementary. This is where the Lakeland School District first armed guard will be located and something else will be changing here too. That's going to be signs like this one that designate this area as a gun free school zone. That part about the guns will be removed and the district says parents made it clear that they don't want their schools to be considered so called soft targets. Um, but I think people are just uh, tired tired of the new norm. That norm tragedy sweeping school campuses across the country. For the last year, the Lakeland School District looked at ways to improve school safety. That included talking to parents. When they send their kids to us, they expect us to send them back to them at the end of the day looking the same way they did when they came. The solution? Armed guards at each Lakeland school. Parents floated the idea of arming teachers, but administrators ultimately didn't like the idea. They decided that trained guards with firearms was the best solution. We want our kids safe. and. Unfortunately, this is the next level of safety that we have to provide, but we're willing to do it. The guards, who will be former law enforcement or military members with clean records, will strictly be assigned to security. The first guard will go here at Athol Elementary. Its distance from nearby law enforcement agencies played a factor there. Uh, they had a 911 call this year and it was 22 minutes, I think, the uh, response time. Signs will be changed to let potential shooters know someone on campus is carrying a gun. It's a security plan the district hopes it never has to use. We just want people who are looking to do harm to know that it's not going to be easy in our schools and that they need to move on. And that guard will be starting here next school year. The eventual plan is to have armed guards at all of the district schools. For now, the guard here will be paid for using levy money that was earmarked for school security. Live in Athol, Taylor Vido, Graham 2 News.